In this episode, we will copy an assembly in Solid Edge. This will include all the parts and drawings of that assembly. We will also try to move the, the entire assembly into different folders, so stay tuned for that. To do all of this, we need to use the Solid Edge Design Manager. It's free and comes with, with your Solid Edge software. I've created some files, tube, end plug, and an assembly. The assembly contains the end plugs and the tube. <clears throat> Let's first try to copy this entire assembly. To do this, you need to right click on your drawing or your graft, right click that, and now select Design Manager. This will open the, the, the assembly in your Design Manager. If you click to the left of the assembly, it will expand and you can see what the, what the assembly contains. We have a tube and the end plug. We don't see the drawing though. We have the drawing up here for the assembly, but we don't have it for the parts. We need to search for those. So mark the two parts. You can click the first one, press control, and then select the second row. Go up here to where used. What this tool does is to search your, your folders for any files that contain these uh, these marked par parts. So Solid will search for any files containing those two parts that include assemblies and drawings. Let's click up here, where used. Just click next and press finish when this button is available. I don't have that many files in these directories because it's just a just a test. Your uh, your file directory may be may may be large, so it will, it will take a take a minute or two to complete to complete the search. Just click finish when it's done. We can see that it has found the draft for both the tube and the end plug. To make a copy, we just mark everything. And then click Save As. Some fields becomes available now. Here you can see some red names, and that's because the file already exists in the folder. So just give it a new name. I will call it New Assembly. I will copy this name, paste it here. New Tube. Do the same here. And New and plug Do that here as well. I'll just leave the titles. <clears throat> now we have uh, added some new file names, but nothing has been changed yet. We need to click this button up here, perform action. So let's click that. Now I can see the new file name over here. If we expand, you can see the new parts as well. Let's close this. Open the Explorer. <clears throat> Here we have the old assembly, old end plug, and old tube. And now we have the, the new assembly. Everything is fine here. Let's try to open the new assembly. Whoops, sorry. <clears throat> There we go, we have a tube with an end plug, and we can see the two new file names over here. Everything looks fine. Open the finder again. Let's try to move these new files. Again, we need to right click the drawing of the assembly and open the design manager. expand the assembly and again we need to find the drawings for these parts so mark them go to where used press next and finish we have the drafts now so mark everything 
and press press the move button and press cancel here. I would like to move this assembly, end plug and a new tube to these folders. In the assembly folder, I have some, uh, some subfolders. Same with the end plug and the tube. Let's go here and in the new location, click these, this button here and select the new location. This was the assembly, so assembly and the 80 folder, that's fine. I will just copy this, insert the tube. We do the same, tube 80, we'll copy that. And the end plug, we do the same, copy, paste. The descriptions, I don't want to change that, but you, you can if you want to. And again, we need to click the Perform Actions button to submit the changes. If we expand here, you can see that all the file has been moved to folders. So close this and just check if everything has been moved. Yeah, we have the old files here. If you go to Assembly, you can see that the assembly has been moved. Same with the end plug and the tube. <clears throat> Remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, I have added a link to our course in the description. Feel free to, to take a look at that. In the course, you will learn how to use the features in Solid Edge in a more structured way. The course is made for beginners and cover a lot of material. This was the end of, uh, of this episode. Hope you learned something new. Feel free to post questions and comments below. I'll try to answer them all.